guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing some of the makeup products that i was obsessed with in june let me know if you guys want to see my skincare favorites as well today's video is going to be all about makeup because i actually tried a lot of new makeup in the month of june and also rare beauty launched in india in the month of june and i obviously picked up something that i'm really obsessed with currently so before we begin for today's video please make sure that you guys hit that red subscribe button and click the bell icon besides it to get notified whenever i upload a new video and now let's get right into the video so the first product is from elf it's their poreless putty primer it's not a new product by any means but i recently tried this product out and i really really loved it so earlier i had purchased their luminous putty primer and i thought that that will be something that i would really like i it is a good primer but i don't reach out for that primer a lot but this ever since i've started using this product i have been only using this primer i don't have a lot of large pores on my face so i can't really tell if it actually blurs the pores out or it, if it fills the pores in but it definitely gives a very smooth canvas it feels very hydrating and moisturizing on the skin it's truly something that people with all skin type would love because um, it has that very moisturizing feeling but it's not greasy at all it's a very light blurring canvas on your skin and it feels really really good if you still haven't tried this primer from elf you really need to it has a very silky smooth texture it's not balmy or greasy it's very light and it just gives a very smooth canvas and just blurs out your skin another primer that i'm really loving from elf is their power grip primer it's again a very popular primer from elf i don't remember if i purchased this in may or june but i'm sure it's only been a month or two and i'm obsessed with this primer as well it's a very sticky primer it genuinely grips your makeup it gives that very good hold to your makeup and it makes your makeup last really long it also gives a very glass finish to the skin i would say it's great for normal to dry dry skin people don't know how people with oily skin would feel about this primer but i really love this another product which is again by elf this video is not sponsored by elf by the way i just happened to try a lot of products from this brand and i really loved it this is their halo glow liquid filter and this product finally launched in india and i cannot even tell you guys how much i've been waiting for this launch because i always wanted to buy the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter but that product is so expensive and this is an exact tube of that product so i was waiting for this launch i bought the shade medium tan which is a little too dark for me i could have bought a shade lighter which is medium and that would have uh, matched me perfectly but i still make this work like underneath foundation you cannot even tell if you're wearing medium or medium tan it doesn't matter so make sure that if you're around the shade nc 40 to 42 then medium would be the perfect shade for you and if you're nc 43 44 45 then i think medium tan would uh, definitely suit you the best so if you haven't heard about this product yet then this is a glow booster kind of a product it has some tint to it so it gives you a very light coverage along with a lot of glow to your skin so it's something that you can use in multiple ways you can use it underneath foundation you can mix it with your foundation you can apply it as a liquid highlighter and it gives you the most glowiest skin ever and it does not have any chunky shimmer or glitter particles it is just pure strobe to your skin but today i don't have any highlighter on my skin it's just this product underneath my foundation and you can see the glow peeking through it is so glowy that you just need few dots just on the high points of your face and you're good to go so this definitely has to be on the top of my favorites list this month it's absolutely amazing and so worth the money then finally apart from elf i have something from mac cosmetics this is the mac studio fix everywhere all over face pen this is their newest launch and it's a foundation i firstly love the packaging it is so unique i've never seen something like this so it has a jumbo pen like packaging and this is where you dispense the product from so you just have to click from here to dispense the product and i'm in the shade nc42 this is again a very multi-purpose product this is something that can be used as foundation as concealer and as a corrector it has a lot of pigment so it definitely works as a concealer and corrector also and again this is what i'm wearing on my face today Day and it has the most flawless finish and since it has a lot of pigment it's a really pigmented foundation you just need the tiniest amount of this foundation it's definitely a medium to full buildable coverage foundation you can build it up to completely full coverage foundation and it looks absolutely flawless on your skin today i've just used one pump of this foundation all over my face and you can see it gives the most natural and very skin like finish it does not feel or look like a heavy 
duty foundation unless you completely build it up to a full coverage foundation i definitely like this more than their studio fix fluid foundation i think the packaging of that foundation is firstly very inconvenient and it smells like paint this however does not have any smell like the studio fix fluid foundation it has absolutely no fragrance at least i can sense no fragrance in this foundation and it definitely feels much better than the studio fix fluid foundation so i would highly recommend this product to you guys also keep in mind that this has only 12 ml of product the standard size of foundation would have 30 ml of product so this is definitely more on the expensive side because it's 2850 rupees for 12 ml of product so keep that in mind another product that i'm really liking by mac recently as a bronzer it's not a bronzer but i am using it as a bronzer it's the mac studio fix powder foundation and this is in the shade nw44 so my shade is nc42 and this is like a warm toned powder and two shades darker than my skin tone so it's a very beautiful bronzer shade for my skin tone since it's just two shades darker than my skin it does not look too harsh on my skin it looks very very pretty i've not applied it today i'll show you guys i'll show how this looks on my skin so i'm just taking the tiniest amount and applying it under my cheekbones and you can see it adds a hint of color on my face and makes it look much more warm and if you've tried the studio fix uh, powder foundation then you know that the formula is amazing if you guys are looking for a good bronzer and you're ready to splurge on a mac product then definitely try this one do you guys see how pretty and subtle this shade looks this is the only bronzer that i've been using recently so if you're not finding that correct shade of bronzer for your skin tone then definitely try this range because their powder foundations have a lot of shades they literally have something for every single skin tone so definitely try something from their studio fix range and you will definitely find your perfect shade for blush i'm really Really loving this um, nude six nudies all over face dewy color in the shade bohemian rose so i had purchased this uh, tiny kit which has a bronzer highlighter and blush i love the highlighter and blush from nude sticks the highlighter is just beautiful but recently i have been using this blush a lot it's not something that i've newly purchased but um, i have again started to reach out for this blush a lot and it looks so natural so pretty i'm wearing it today on my cheeks and it's a dewy blush so it does not set down into a matte finish it looks very juicy very glowy on your skin it does not have any shimmer or glitter particles it just looks very juicy and hydrating on your skin i think nude sticks products are best if you don't like wearing heavy makeup or if you don't know how to blend certain kind of products you just like to do your makeup with your fingers on the go then this brand is definitely for you i have a mini product but i am looking forward to buy a full size of this blush but i still have this much product left so i think i'm just gonna finish this first and then i'm gonna buy maybe some other shade also i would love to try new shades from this range uh, but this particular shade bohemian rose looks so pretty on my skin it's a very unique pink that i have in my collection and surprisingly it looks very pretty on my skin you guys know i'm not a big fan of pink blushes i like peaches and corals more on my skin but this is the one pink blush that i really like on my skin and it's so easy to blend what i like about this blush is that it is so easy to blend you just scribble this on your cheeks and just blend it with your fingers just tap 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 and you're done you're good to go a cream contour that i've been really liking recently is again by elf it's the halo glow beauty wand unfortunately this product has not yet launched in india but if you're living abroad um, and if this product has launched wherever you live or if you have someone who's living abroad and who can buy this product for you definitely get your hands on this one i called for this product from uk and it costed me exactly 900 rupees and i feel like it's totally worth the money the product looks like an exact dupe of the charlotte tilbury um, wands i haven't tried those so i don't know if the formula is an exact dupe but this is a beautiful product and since it has such a thin tip it's great for precise contouring and nose contouring if you love doing that the formula formula is amazing this is a matte contour it does not have any shimmer particles and it blends like a dream it takes absolutely no effort to blend into your skin i think elf makes some of the best dupes of high end products and they are just so worth the money elf products are always so worth the money i've never been disappointed by any elf product it's easily my most favorite drugstore brand then i don't know if i mentioned this in my previous videos but i'm really obsessed with this mars mascara this is the mars uh, 
um i think fabulous mascara yes and this is how it looks like it has a very pretty packaging and i never expected to love a mars mascara because i've been so hooked to my maybelline and l'oreal mascaras but surprisingly this beats all of those mascaras i love the formula i love the wand that it has it actually coats and lengthens every single lash that you have it looks so pretty it makes your lashes look very wispy and very long and it makes your eyes look super awake i don't think any other mascara gives me this look and also i love the fact that this is not a waterproof mascara as i hate taking off waterproof mascaras i think on a daily basis if you want to apply mascara then a washable one is the best option it's also great for the bottom lashes it literally coats every single lash that you have and i think it's super affordable it only retails for 300 rupees so it's definitely a gem in the drug store i promise this is the last product from elf i'm really obsessed with their clear brow and lash mascara this is how it looks like one side is for your lashes and the other side is for your eyebrows now i specifically bought this for my lashes but i ended up loving the brow side a lot more so i wanted this for my lashes because i don't really like using black mascara on a day to day basis like if i'm just stepping out of the house and i'm just wearing a little bit of concealer and a little bit of tint on my cheeks um, i would not really prefer to wear mascara because i hate taking it off so i wanted a clear mascara that you know does not look like mascara but it cleans the concealer and powder that's on your lashes but unfortunately this mascara does nothing it does clean the concealer and uh, powder that you have on your lashes so that your lashes don't look white but it does nothing for your lashes it does not hold any curl it does not separate the lashes the wand is actually very rubbish for your lashes but i really like it for my eyebrows i love the other side for my eyebrows i think this keeps my eyebrows in place the entire day this is the only eyebrow gel that i've been using recently and i also really like the fact that this is a clear product it's great for an everyday use i already have a backup of this product i think i'm just going to use the lash side also for my eyebrows only and the product is also very affordable i think it retails only for 250 and you can buy it during offers i got it um i bought this when there was a buy one get one free sale and lastly talking about all of the lip products that i have the first and my most favorite is the rare beauties lip oil i'm glad that i finally got my hands on this i bought this i went to the Sephora store the next day I think Rare Beauty launched on 16th July and the lip oils were already going out of stock so I just found a few shades that were in stock and I picked the shade Delight and this one actually looks so good they literally had no testers in the store also I just eyeballed the shade and I bought it so the shade Delight is actually a mix of pink and brown and it's the kind of shade that I really love it's great for dusky skin so this lip oil retails for a whopping 2400 rupees which is very expensive for a lip oil i know that but it's rare beauty so i had to buy it but let me give you my honest feedback i was expecting it to be a little more long lasting on my lips but unfortunately it's not very long lasting after all it's a lip oil even if you're not eating or drinking anything the product will fade away from your lips after a few hours actually not even after a few hours i think after one or two hours it will fade away from your lips so you will have to keep on applying this product on your lips which shouldn't have have happened because this is a really expensive lip oil so it should have lasted longer on my lips but uh, talking about the shade and everything i think the formula is really good it looks really pretty on your lips you can see i have a beautiful tint on my lips the oiliness has almost gone now yes the oiliness has literally gone from my lips and this is a tint that i'm left with behind and it looks very pretty you can mix it up with a lip liner with another lipstick and it will look very very pretty on the lips but the only sad part is that it's not very long lasting so keep that in mind before buying this product but overall i think i'm still really obsessed with this product because of the shade the shade looks really pretty on my skin and on a no makeup makeup day i would definitely prefer using this product over than a bullet lipstick or a liquid lipstick. stick generally lip tints don't leave an even tint on my lips because i have very pigmented lips my top lip has a lot of pigmentation and my bottom lip does not so lip tints never look even on my lips but this one actually does it looks pretty even like it genuinely looks like one color and it does not even fade away in a bad way it evenly fades away from the lips it also gives that very cooling tingly sensation on your lips when you apply it i don't think it plumps my lips up but it does feel really nice and it looks really 
वेरी प्रिटी आई ऑल्सो रिसीव अ टाइनी ब्लश सैम्पल वेन आई बॉट दिस प्रोडक्ट एंड आई एम एक्चुअली रियली इंजॉइंग दैट ब्लश दैट ब्लश इज सो सो प्रिटी इट्स इन द शेड होप इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग एंड आई डू फील लाइक द ब्लश इज जेन्यूनली वर्थ द मनी लाइक यू वुड नॉट रियली रिग्रेट बाइंग द ब्लश आई एम ऑल्सो करेंटली रियली लविंग द क्रश लिक्विड लिप फ्रॉम बॉबी ब्राउन दिस इज इन द शेड स्मूदी मूव इट्स अ वेरी प्रिटी फ्लैटरिंग पिंक शेड फॉर माई लिप्स एंड दिस इज हाउ द शेड लुक्स लाइक इट्स अ वेरी प्रिटी शेड इट्स अ वेरी प्रिटी पिंक शेड फॉर डस्की स्किन एंड इट लुक्स एक्सट्रीमली ब्यूटिफुल ऑन द लिप्स इट्स वेरी नरिशिंग वेरी हाइड्रेटिंग फॉर द लिप्स दीज आर डेफिनेटली नॉट ट्रांसफर प्रूफ लिक्विड लिपस्टिक्स दीज स्टे ग्लॉसी ऑन योर लिप्स बट इट ऑल्सो नेवर फेज अवे वेरी क्विकली इट डज स्टे ऑन योर लिप्स देर इज अ हिंट ऑफ कलर ऑन योर लिप्स इवन आफ्टर यू ईट और यू ड्रिंक एनी थिंग इट्स अगेन समथिंग दैट आई बिन यूजिंग अ लॉट रिसेंटली अन अदर लिपस्टिक दैट आई एम रियली लविंग इज फ्रॉम जस्ट हर्ब्स एंड इट्स इन द शेड कॉफी डेट दिस इज अ ब्यूटिफुल बुलेट लिपस्टिक द शेड इज रियली गुड इट्स अ वेरी प्रिटी डस्टी रोजी काइंड ऑफ अ शेड इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल न्यूड and this is how the shade looks like it really flatters my skin tone it's a very comfortable matte formula and it lasts for a good amount of time i'm really obsessed with this formula and this shade for my skin i honestly had no idea that just herbs does such amazing lipsticks this is definitely a must try another lip product from just herbs that i recently discovered and i'm loving it so much is their serum infused lip gloss and this is in the shade peachy glow again this is in the shade Zero five, and this is how the gloss looks like. It's like a peachy brown lip gloss, and it looks really pretty on the lips. It, this is a very lightweight lip gloss. It does not have a very thick, goopy feeling on your lips, and it's actually a pretty good, affordable lip gloss that I've recently discovered. The shade is pretty, the longevity is good, and it feels really nice and non-sticky. So yes, these were all of the makeup products that I've been obsessed with in the month of June. All the product links are in the description box below. Don't forget to check it out. And please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon beside it to get notified whenever I upload a new video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.